Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Uh, today I got lots to do, but I'm gonna start with uh, trying to give my truck an oil change. I gotta sharpen some chains uh, for the chainsaw and some blades, and then see maybe if we can go cut some trees down. Okay, so the oil's just finished draining up. I got the filter out and I got the new one back in. We're filling it up with six liters of Pennzoil Premium Full Synthetic. Just checking underneath now for any new leaks. I don't see anything. And put it back into one of these so uh, a person that we know recycles uh, motor oil. So that's what we're doing. So I had the quad all started and all that good stuff. Uh, but it sunk into the ground just a little bit and the tires are frozen. So I can't get the gas and oil out for the chainsaw. Um... <laughs> I guess I'm probably just going to sharpen the chainsaw today and see if I can find some more of those uh, chainsaw blades for the weed eater and uh, see if I can get those sharpened. Oops. Going to get the snowmobile out, see if I can mount my GoPro on the front bumper and go for a little ride. I really need to get my tripod. I got my GoPro all hooked up. I've got this cool little clamp and it just clamps onto pretty much anything. It's going to, yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't even move hardly. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, so this is that trail that I was showing you in one of my last videos. Uh, it didn't actually show coming through the trail, but this time I did. And so we're gonna clear that out right next to this nice big white pine here. 
it just goes up forever it seems so nice i know it's relative in that uh there are much bigger trees on the planet but this uh you know for our property it's a nice one all right let's continue on the trail i guess before we go though uh this trail that was coming out is right at the patch of all these big poplars that we want to take down and uh, build the shop with and our temporary buildings so there's a bunch of them here um, I just got to widen out the trail that way uh, to get it to where the sawmill is going to go this spring and just a little bit further down the trail uh, is a really nice white pine again it's not as big as the one that I just showed you but uh, it, it's going to keep growing <laughs> I stepped off the snowmobile and uh, it's got to be 16 inches deep as soon as I stepped off. 
Is it ever gorgeous out here? Can't even see any or hear any road noise. I definitely can't walk with the camera and I'm already losing my footing here. <laughs> I just took a step. <laughs> it's 18 inches deep there at least. I can't, I, I was going to walk over to the edge over there, but I can't get there walking. I don't want to take the snowmobile over there because if I get stuck, good luck me getting it out. What a gorgeous day back here in the bush. Uh, if you guys don't uh, get out to walk very often, I recommend that you guys uh, find a winter trail to go walking if you've got snow like this. It's so nice and quiet, peaceful. You know, I just did the oil change on the truck. Got to get to sharpening the chainsaw. Uh, I was going to try to cut some trees down today, but obviously uh, with what I'm seeing here now, my stepfather was teasing me a little bit earlier. He's like, the snow's too deep. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to try it anyway. So I decided to go for a snowmobile ride first and uh, I took a step off the snowmobile and I see why he's teasing me about going to cut trees down. Um, but you guys saw which trees I want to cut down anyway. Uh, there's a whole group of them there. We need uh 40 for the temporary sheds 48 something like that uh but that will need about 150 for the shop uh that's 12 footers uh so we'll be also looking for a bunch of uh you know 16 24 footers if we can get them uh but bigger than eight anyway mostly then we'll have some uh, window frames to do uh i've got a lot of that stuff done in my sketch up here so i might actually maybe i'll throw that in here um yeah you know what i don't think it's ready though uh, I was gonna, I was gonna try to put it in here, but uh, I've got to redraw it again and uh, at least count everything. So, all right, uh, well, let's get back out riding again. We got more trails to groom. <laughs> Well, that's really fun. I just replaced the battery in the GoPro because it just died and the one that I just put in it died too. Uh, they were both green when we left the truck. They were all both charged. Um, not much I can do about it. Uh, just coming down the trail hit a bog. <laughs> the snowmobile just sunk right in. Good thing I was going slow. All right I gotta get this thing unstuck. Okay, 100% I need to get back to the gym. Uh, may have hurt myself just trying to dig this out. I can't seem to dig it out. I should have brought a shovel back here. Uh, I'm not very far from where I'm supposed to be, so I could just walk. You can see that the trail just goes that way. I should be able to walk on the trail. Uh, but I am going to try this again because I'm dumb and uh, see where I get. I had some big chunks of ice here blocking the track. I had to take it off. Much easier lifting it then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my front right ski is all stuck. I need to try to get that dug out. Still not out. Machine's a little bit level now, but I just don't have the juice to get it going. Um, I'm gonna try, obviously. Otherwise, it's a long ways back. And a long way back again. So, uh, gonna take a minute, catch my breath, and get back to it. I guess I'll know for next time to bring me myself a shovel or a uh, a ratchet strap that I can winch it out. The big issue is that you can see that this ski is on such an angle; it should be more flat. Uh, so I'm trying to dig it out so that it will get flat. Uh, but it's an uphill battle at this point without a shovel. Got it! <laughs> oh, 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'm really sorry that uh, I wasn't able to capture more of the snowmobile trail. The GoPro batteries had died, so I guess it's going to be an expensive day for me because I need to go buy two brand new GoPro batteries. Uh, I was thinking about upgrading, but if I want to upgrade to a GoPro 10 or 11 or whatever the newest one is uh, and get batteries, I think that's going to be a little bit too much. So I'm just going to get new batteries for my GoPro uh, 8. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw there today. I got the oil change done in the truck. I uh, got some stuff put away. I got the trails packed down for my stepfather. We made it back to the back. That was a lot of fun, uh, except getting stuck. Uh, hopefully I didn't hurt myself too badly, but uh, the snow snowmobile weighs about five, 600 pounds somewhere in there. And with all the snow that was uh, pinching the tra track down, there was no snow in the track itself. So, you know, you gotta clean that out because it adds a lot of weight. Um, but there was just ice that was pinching the track down, which is causing me to not be able to lift it. Uh, probably if I had a shovel, I could have dug that out and seen that it was an issue earlier, but I didn't have a shovel with me. So uh, this snowmobile does have a system that I can clamp a shovel onto it. So I might have to actually invest in that. Huh. More money spent. Anyway, guys, um, like I say, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one. Keep living the northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.